love is something that is very special. It's it's got so many words, so many meanings that, you know, my love for Scarlet is different than my love for the cat, for instance. You don't even love the cat. You hate the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it. But I don't yeah. <laughs> See, my love for Scarlet is so deep that I, I managed to uh, okay with a cat. Yeah. I, I can't stand cats. And I got one for her. And that's what love is. And that's what love is. I am Tim McLean. I am the best man, I suppose. So I'm going to ask people questions. <laughs> um, I have nothing interesting to say about myself because I'm not an interesting person. Yes, you are. <laughs> My name is Shaler Slothauer, and I'm not the best man, but I am a good friend of Caleb's. Mr. Danner, I hope the very best for your marriage. I know you guys are going to do great, and uh, I look forward to seeing how you guys grow, and it's been fun supporting you in your single life, and I look forward to supporting you in your life together. Congratulations. Hi. 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 Introduce yourself. Um, I'm Michael Park. I'm uh, one of the groomsmen. What do you like most about Caleb? I like the fact that he doesn't judge you by what you've done, but who you are on the inside. I like that. And uh, yeah, I'm just really glad to be here today. It's, uh, it's been a long journey for Caleb. He's uh, of uh, all the people I've met through my uh, various travels, he's definitely one of the best people I've ever met in my life. And best wishes for his future. And uh, I'm uh, hoping he has about eight or nine kids. <laughs> this is what I prayed for, so it's a. Uh, Per control. It's a very nice, very wonderful, very quick, very meaningful journey, and if I could do it all over again, I probably wouldn't do it any differently. Mrs. Scarlett, <laughs> how are you feeling about this? Excited? Nervous? <laughs> very nervous. <laughs> qualities that I like most about Caleb are probably, well, his honesty. He can't lie. He has, he just tells you everything that's on his mind right away. It's, it's kind of nice, but um, he's also, I don't know, he's really personable and friendly, I like. I love that she's honest. Uh, she's very truthful. She is herself all the time even, even if it takes a little bit of work to get answers out of her that's just who she is and I absolutely adore that because I am the complete opposite and I just open up naturally to the people that I trust and it takes her a lot more and I still don't know everything about her she is she is a present that just keeps unwrapping we come together here before God as family and friends to witness a marriage covenant which Caleb and Scarlett will enter by exchanging vows to each other. So in this public commitment, a man and a woman enter a covenant which involves a total being, body, soul, and it is a relationship of love that is holy in which there should be sensitivity to each other, helpfulness, and spiritual support. Caleb, we would take Scarlett's hand and repeat your vow. I, Caleb, receive you, Scarlett, as my wife. By God's grace, I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you and sharing with you all that God has for us. Scarlett, today I give you my heart and my life. I vow to be true to you in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. I purpose to be a faithful husband with God's help. I commit myself to you and that separates us. Scarlett, will you take Caleb's hand now and repeat your vows? I, Scarlett, receive you, Caleb, as my husband, and I give you my heart and my life. By God's help, I vow to be a loving wife and to be true to you, no matter what happens, until death separates us. The two outside candles were lighted to represent the lives of Caleb and Scarlett. So, as you each now take the candle, which represents your life, and light the center candle, you're illustrating what Jesus spoke of when he said, For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, 
and the two will become one flesh. So for as much as Caleb and Scarlet have committed themselves together in holy wedlock and have exchanged vows to each other, by the authority that is committed to me by the church and recognized by the state of Idaho, I pronounce them husband and wife, and therefore what God has joined together, let man not separate. Caleb, you may kiss your bride. Congratulations, it was beautiful. Absolute delight to be a part of it. Thanks for letting me. 